From Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, this is EA Sports continuing coverage of the world of golf. Rich Lerner here at the 18th Tower alongside Frank Navalo, 15 times a winner around the world. Uh, Frank, normally we would see you over at that special spot, Amen Quarter, 12T, but you're with me today. Take me back to your playing days. What ran through your mind as you stood over that opening tee shot? Uh, I, I couldn't feel my hands, really. I was so nervous to get to play there for the first time, and that was just a practice round. I think anybody that goes there for just a round of golf, you get the same feeling. You're like, am I really allowed to play? And then the course just comes to you. It, it really does. It flows beautifully. There's a lot more undulations than you even give it credit for, but, you know, hey, you're going to reference aim in corner? So will I. Aim in corner technically is the second shot into 11, 12, and the tee shot at 13. Not the three holes. This up the right side off the tee. He'll like that one. That's right where you want to be. Right side of the fairway. Well positioned for the next shot. And he's set up for his second shot here. Looking to knock it on the green. Rich, is that eight or nine feet? I don't know about that, but it is a great approach. Here. Eight feet now for Birdie. Now, now that's a good opportunity, unfulfilled. Finish up the par and shake of the head there. He had a good look at an opening birdie, but he'll settle for a four. Moving on to the 575 yard par five second at Augusta National. One of two par fives on this first nine. Reachable in two for many in the field, but the green is protected by large, deep bunkers. And this is going to be a good result. It's going to catch that slope a bit and keep getting better here at hole number two.
Normally they stick a T in one end and a flag in the other. You advance the way. But that second shot on this par five, it completely took the green out of play. Airmail. That is a big mistake. little bunker shot just splash it out let the ball run towards the flag Uh, just too tough to control out of the sand. That one unable to hold the green. It'll run off into the short stuff. Well, obviously, he can do better, and he's going to have to on this next putt if he wants to just get out of here with bogey, Frank. And this one's certainly going to be, uh, well, worth the price of admission. Uh, maybe you look to the heavens here. That didn't need much more. Okay, so a solid par at the first, but problems here at two. It's a double bogey and a two-over start to the round. Now to the short par for third, only 350 yards. I think one of the more underrated holes on this golf course. We know those five pars plus the 12th on that second nine get so much attention, and rightly so. But this is a wonderful hole, strategic, and you need some touch here. It's so hard to bounce back after a huge score, especially when you're still reeling from it. But try and pull the screws back, back in the head there. Just take a little breath, maybe two. Decent swing. Don't try and kill it. Exactly like that. Really good shot. So the great tee shot left him here. Now his second from relatively close range. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. That's the cruelest thing about this game, Rich. I mean, it's just now it's another shot. A 
Okay, so he follows the double at two with another bogey here at the third, plus three to get his day started. Next up, the stout par three fourth here at Augusta National, measuring 240 yards. Middle to long iron is the play here, but accuracy is key with the two bunkers protecting the front of that green. Now, got to manage the pine straw here with his second. He went with the flop shot, um, all credit there, just not enough speed. Ball comes up considerably short. that one off and maybe a roll of the eyes there as well it's a bogey four here at number four we move now to hole number five magnolia a par four at a stout 495 yards avoiding the two deep bunkers left of the fairway is a must but a sloped green full of little hollows makes getting an approach to birdie range no small feat Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there.
I didn't realize this all was this long. Uh, long, short, uh, here we go again. Now, uh, this would be an unbelievable part if you can make this putt. Well, it's on, but that's going to make things difficult from there. This will be a five foot putt here. Nah, might have stared at that one too long. Sometimes you, you just got to go with your gut. Okay, put a couple of squares around that one on the scorecard. It is a three putt and a six here at the par four. We make our way now to the 180 yard par three six, second par three on the first nine here at Augusta. Elevated tee looks down on a two tiered undulating green that will absolutely test you. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Oh, off the flagstick. Deserve that one. So this par 3 6 going to claim another victim as he's in with a bogey four. On to hole number seven now, a par four at 450 yards. It's one of the narrower holes on the course, so precision is more important than power off the tee. The second shot is no bargain either with a total of five bunkers completely surrounding a fairly small green. No issues here, that is into the fairway. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Left himself with 155, struggling all day, looking to do something good here.
That's got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Well, going to get a chance to try that again. Looking to splash this softly onto the green. Okay, not a bad recovery from out of the sand, and a chance, maybe, to limit the damage to one drop shot. This from seven feet. Was gone. But that's what this course can do to you. It is a double bogey. That'll drop him down to plus nine. So where the second hole, the par five, is considerably downhill, the eighth is up the hill. You can certainly make an eagle here, but it requires two good shots and maybe a little luck. If you play it off the right, it'll kick down. And leave you within eagle range. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Still better than three bills away as he puts forth his second to the par five. This ball not going where it was intended. It's going to work its way into the second cut.
14 feet to the hole. Going to sneak on by. Okay, so he's in there with a bogey four, a disappointment here at the eighth. We wrap up the first nine with the tough 460 yard par four, known for a treacherous three tiered green that slopes sharply from back to front. Approach shots here that don't have enough carry could also wind up rolling a good 30, 40 yards or so back down the hill. Yeah, that is a wonderful tee shot right where you want to be here at hole number nine. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Well, from this section of the fairway, you have an opportunity to get the ball close to the back third of this green. It's going to require some good calculations on yardage and proper execution to get the ball to sit on the right plateau. Oh, that ball limps its way onto the green, but yeah, you never know. One part away. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. And there's no space for a lapse in concentration here. Perhaps a little bit further away than we would have liked, but a two part would be a very good result. There, it's in from long distance for birdie here at the ninth. Start of the second nine here at Augusta National is also the start of a difficult stretch. These two par fours, 10 and 11, all you want, and then you get up to that challenging little par 312. From the pine straw now, his second. And this gonna wind up in the second cut. Just a little over ambitious on that chip shot. Just sailed past. And 
now a putt from 24 feet away. right in the jaws and it just wouldn't get there. So he'll brush that in for his bogey and put a square on the card to start his backside. We move along to hole number 11 here at Augusta National. Now at 520 yards, a par four. This tee box shifted a bit to the left in 2022, which lengthened the hole a good 15 yards so that now navigating a tee shot down the right side brings more risk into play. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Now one of the tougher second shots in golf, the second here at 11. into the second cut. Had to take the boxing gloves off on that one. No touch whatsoever, and this is a long, long putt coming back. this golf course are the colors more vibrant than right here hole number 12 so easy on the eyes so much harder is figuring the mysterious winds the answers lie somewhere near the top of those towering pines that kiss the georgia sky augusta's beguiling beauty golden bell the looks of this one that one safely on the putting surface After that tee shot to this par three, it's not quite a hole-in-one, but it is a tap-in birdie. 
This 13th tee box, one of the favorite spots for all the golfers. It's a rest spot. It's very peaceful back there. Chance to gather your thoughts and then maybe gather some momentum, turn one over off the tee, and then turn on the jets, maybe make eagle here. The realm was gone at one stage, but the birdie on the previous hole plus a good tee shot. He's shown a lot of guts out there right now. Uh-oh. Had half the equation on that shot, the distance. Not quite the accuracy. Missed it. Hair to the right. Yeah, not quite a foul ball. Kept it in the ballpark, and well, let's see how good you can chip. So now, with the drop taken, this is going to be his fourth shot into this par five. And that will be quite a challenge from there to get away with his par. If, if he can make this, I'll just take it and run to the next hole. Speed was spot on, a good putt, but nothing to show for it. These par fives, this is where you can really make a move. Possibly an eagle, a birdie. You don't want to give shots away to the field, but that's what's happened. That's a bogey six at this par 5 13. On to the 440 yard par 4 14th, the only hole at Augusta National without a single bunker. The terrace green is the challenge here. That's up the left side. And that a good shot up the hill and into the fairway at 14. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Hole definitely sitting in the go zone. If you can hit your number, ball could get really close. And that ball looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. This is in for a pause. Feel like a birdie, right? Maybe even an eagle, who knows, with the way this round has gone. But that was a good hole. 
We come now to the instantly recognizable hole number 15. It's called Firethorn. Traditionally, it has been the second easiest hole on the course, behind only number 13. But it was lengthened in 2022, with an extra 20 yards added on, making that potential carry over the pond with a second shot that much tougher. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Looking at the greatest second shot in golf, but don't let the beauty fool you. There is trouble everywhere. Yeah, no reason to risk it there. That's a good layup to a good number short of that pond. But he's set up for his third shot here, looking to get it on the green with this. All right, that's a board, but a lot of green between ball and hole. Iona's down there. She's had a good look. This for birdie. And this is going to be moving left the whole way. It's going to be one big arc all the way to the hole. Close, couldn't ask for much more on that putt. And he'll get that to go for a par. And with what his scorecard looks like at this point, I think he'll consider that a minor victory. We arrive now at the 170 yard par 3 16th, played entirely over water to a green flank by three bunkers. Like every hole at Augusta, Precision off the tee here is key. You can make a birdie. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either sitting up in the short grass. Been there, done that. It doesn't feel good, especially when they're just short little shots around the green. It feels terrible. Okay, not too bad there. Not in gimme range, but a good chance to possibly walk away only down a stroke. Okay, one putt is all it takes out of the bucket, but the damage done before that as he will walk off with a bogey. This par 4 17th at 440 yards, one of the most famous in the sport. This is where in 1986, Jack Nicklaus, at the age of 46, made the birdie putt. Vern Lundquist on the call. <laughs> the 
Well, scoring's been an issue so far. That's maybe being kind, but hey, that's good tee shot right there. While sitting on an upslope here, you've got to be careful that you don't get this one straight up in the air from that line. not going to be enough. It's into the front right bunker here at 17. Third shot coming up now from the bunker. Mm, that is a good looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place leaving just a few feet for par. This is in for a par. That's a bit more like it. Well, the difficulty here at the finishing hole, this famous 465-yard par 4 18th, is that you are coming out of a narrow shoot off the tee, and it is steeply up the hill. Good drive, though, puts you in position to maybe make a birdie. tee shot through the shoot here at 18 and that is going to be ideal so now up the hill is second at 18 sure what happened there. Wrong club selection or execution. Regardless, a lot of meat still on that bone. That'll do just fine. Oh, that is so close, just a little bit more. Okay, so it's a disappointing bogey five here at 18. And this will be around of 85. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner for EA Sports. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye for now. <laughs>